get up, get, get up, get up. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another interview with the Mets Up Podcast. We got Mark Hanna here. This is actually take two because our Mark just smashed his head in the Verizon box over there. So we're happy to start it up. Mark, first of all, happy to have you here. Thanks for having me. This has been a pretty unbelievable season for this Mets team as a whole. What's it been like just being like, swept up in a pennant race here in New York? It's very exciting. Um, you know, we got a month to go here. It, it, it feels like the table is, is very much set, and, and we're kind of in control of our own destiny. And I think if you asked us if we'd like this spot at the beginning of the year, we'd say, hell yeah. So um, we're ready to go. How have you liked New York so far? Spent a lot of your career in Oakland. Oh, What's been a big difference? I love New York. Um, my wife and I are already, you know, since the end of the season is inevitable at some point, um, we're already dreading leaving. Um, <laughs> it's been a great year for my family and I. We're, we're just enjoying the city so much, and um, we love it. We love it so much. I've got to immediately now ask you about all the food, uh -huh. all your restaurant touring. Can you give us a favorite, a favorite two, a favorite type of cuisine that's available in New York that maybe uh, you didn't have access to in Oakland? Just you know, pontificate about all your favorite foods for a second. Um, I mean, this last off day I went to Per Se. Um, earlier in the year I went to La Bernadan, and you, those, those two... Um, are just special, special restaurants that, that you don't. Um, you know, San Francisco has that sort of too, but um, I think they're just two special restaurants that are unique to New York, and, and they're um, just world class, and, and I appreciate having that at my fingertips. And I also, But I also appreciate everything that is the, the New York food scene, so like the casual restaurants, the bagels, the pizza, the... <laughs> All that stuff, um, having that at my disposal is just really nice. It's we're talking about it earlier, my wife and I, just like how great it is having a free afternoon and being like, "Where do you want to go eat?" <laughs> we literally can eat anything. There's everything here, so um, it's a it's a special place. We don't we don't um, take that for granted. If there was one meal that you could eat for the rest of your life, what would it be? Um, you know, I I like, as much as I like the fancy restaurants, it, it, it wouldn't be anything like that. I think I like a fresh piece of fish. That's my favorite thing, like catch of the day, um, a nice whole fish, uh, maybe some tortillas to make some tacos, and, and, and that's, I, I always tell people I could eat fresh fish every day. Switching gears a little bit, talk about baseball now for a few minutes. You've really endeared yourself to Mets fans in your first year with the club. You're also having a great year. But your positivity off the field, then your game on the field, just specifically being such a grinder, seeing so many pitches, playing good defense, being, having timely hits. Where do you attribute your play style to? Or how, I mean, just how'd you become the player you've become at this point? Uh, well, thank you for the <laughs> compliment. Um, I, I think this is a baseball city, and, and they appreciate... Um, the details behind the game and I, I consider myself a detail oriented player and a detail oriented person in general and I you know I I like to say that there's maybe not one particular thing about my game that that jumps off the page but I kind of do everything a, l a little bit well and and um, I take pride in in the well-roundedness of my game and and um, you know I, I I kind of have the whole ideas that I have to kind of create my identity is what can I do to help the team win. It's all about being a productive player and uh, a player that winning teams want to have on their team. On their team, and and um, and I think I've done a good job of that. I've kind of it's been a it's been <laughs> a a long journey to to become this, and I'm and I'm proud of the the player I've become. The atmosphere in New York has been crazy, it seems like, all year, but it feels like, especially the last few weeks, last month or so, stadiums have been packed every night. What's it like playing in front yeah. of a full, sold-out city field? It's awesome. It's just awesome. To, they give you so much energy. It's, um, you know, throughout the course of the year when you're playing so many games, it, it, you need it. You need that, that little boost sometimes. And, um, 
you know, it's been great. Last night I hit that home run, and it's my hundredth home run of my career. And they like gave me an over. Thanks. I, but they get uh, you know we're it's in the middle of a ball game. And they just I go out there to play defense, and they gave me like a big ovation, and it just uh, it meant a lot to me. This would be probably an abstract question, but what do you like more about New York, the food or the atmosphere at these games? Oh. <laughs> if you had to pick one, you either play well, empty stadium, great food, or packed stadium, subpar oh, food. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have both, so I don't have to choose, which is True. the beauty of it. Um, but I, I'd rather play in front of a full stadium, to be honest, because that's, that's my job. That's my passion. That's my... You know, we got to be out here every day. I'm not out eating nice food every day. I try to, but uh, <laughs> but this is where we are every day, and and this is home, and it and it they make it feel like home. So I I love it here. You made an adjustment to your stance recently, and it's really mm. been kind of plum or skyrocketing your game into like a lot more production for the team recently. Was there anything that really stuck out for you as to you know making that adjustment? Yeah, it, I don't know. I mean, I think it's it's so hard. You you make adjustments all year. I've been making adjustments all year, and and I feel like all the other adjustments kind of worked for a very short term basis, and then they would eventually taper off because they weren't real adjustments that were that it was kind of gimmicky things. And then I finally found something now where I got results in a very short. Uh, sample and it it kind of paid off right away and that um, you know I hope it lasts I, I want it to last and I'm still trying to figure it out you know within within the new stuff that I'm working on is there's still stuff to be discovered I think every day but um, yeah I mean you there's definitely something there I think we can all agree and um, it's just a matter of like bottling it like we say like yeah. trying to get a grasp on on what that is and i think the the limited head movement is um is a big thing i always tell young kids and keep your head still as much as you can when you're hitting because that's where your eyes are and you need to be able to see the ball in order to hit it so um you know it's a good start it's a good start for um for my this new adjustment and um I'm hoping it'll it'll continue to develop and continue to um, become even better. We have a funny nickname for you on our show, just because mm. it kind of exemplifies a lot of the things that we've said about you in the past. That you just you do every single thing well. Uh, nothing particularly stands out, but your game always stands above. And you always want a guy like Mark Hanna on your team and in your lineup. So we have nicknamed you Marky Cheerios because Mark, Cheerios. Cheerios always they're always around they're uh -huh. always good for you they make your stomach feel good they fill you up before a long day and they just they keep you going <laughs> so can you come, <laughs> I don't even know how to phrase to a question well but like, I can I you don't need to I can jump in right away here um, <laughs> Cheerios are a staple in the Canna house oh right? nice and I, I, they were when I was growing up my kids they're they're in our house right now my kids had Cheerios for with their cottage cheese and, and fruit <laughs> that's a pretty standard uh breakfast for my children and i love cheerios myself I've, I've always have it's it's a staple so uh, i appreciate it i've had a lot of them uh a lot of those like given nicknames from from media people in the past but i like that one that's, oh, that's a good one that's music to our ears we love yeah, to hear that love it mark thanks guys appreciate you taking the time thank you so much for hopping on the podcast and i uh, hope cool. we can talk to you again soon yeah we need to get in touch with general mills and and, and yeah. see uh, if maybe, we can maybe a shirt made yeah or, or put my head on the box <laughs> yeah, yeah whatever we can do that let's get it done thanks mark all right thanks guys get up get up get up